What's up guys, Jeff here, and this is One Take Sunday. This is where we give you a fish store update, and we start in the back and work our way up to the front. There's no cutting, there's no editing, it's just one shot, and that's it. So if I mess up, we live with it. Now that I'm really dizzy, let's get to it. All right, so the back room is a little bit of a catch-all, but it pretty much has been a catch-all the entire time uh, that we've been doing this. And basically what I've been doing this week, um, getting ready for the inspection, is just trying to move everything back here and then hopefully out the door. Um, drop cloth, we need to take care of that. I wanted to leave it down because I am going to be doing something extra awesome and I need a drop cloth, um, but I'm not going to share that at all. That is going to have to be a in-store visit to find out why I have a drop cloth on the ground. Put a comment down in the section below. Let me know what you think it is. All right, so the quarantine system hasn't been doing a whole lot. Uh, the fresh water side has been cycling. Um, as you can see, my power strip is revolting. It will not stick to the rack. Uh, yeah, so uh, this t-shirt rack, I want to get that painted up maybe tonight, but I got a lot of things to do with the inspection uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna go through and kind of organize and pick stuff up before I leave tonight, um, but we need to get the salt water system going and cycling, uh, but it's everything back here has been kind of put off up until now. Uh, that's the plank. That's how I get to do the maintenance above the frag tanks. That guy extends up to 13 feet. Now this was the big addition this morning. Uh, this is my shipping table. So what I wanted to do originally was I was going to build a table so I could have all my shipping items in one location. Uh, boxes, tape, you know, box knives, whatever um, in one section. So what I wanted was boxes on the top, a rack on the back for you know stuff like tape and maybe a roll of bubble wrap and all that and then storage below well uh, the price of lumber is crazy so I decided not to build a table and then I was looking at Uline and Uline has a shipping table but they can be a little bit pricey sometimes and I figured you know for the same price as what a shipping table from Uline uh, cost I could get two of these racks put them together and you know figure it out so I have the bottom rack in place um, this you know waist high then I put a sheet of plywood to it uh, this will be officially the last piece of wood that I buy for this store at least uh, on a voluntary basis um, put the rack basically one rack out of there and then hung that in the back so I can uh, zip tie maybe something to that uh, whether it be like a little pouch or uh, maybe a pole I don't know we'll figure that out uh, but so far already kind of is collecting stuff I did put the uh, sander to this so this is nice and um, smooth and I hit the edge real good just because you know my kids got to touch everything and I don't want anybody getting little fingers getting splinters and then we'll get some boxes up here for the top and basically shipping station down here. I am going to have eventually a dedicated computer and printer um, just so I can kind of you know keep it separate and if somebody's working you know the orders from online uh, they have a little space to do that and it's kind of centrally located so if we end up doing you know back stock here in the back room um, we got that going on and then we got the storefront up there but as far as this room uh, this week we did paint it we basically just put a primer to it uh, if you guys remember or not this wall was black and I got some touching up to do between the mirrors there those mirrors aren't going anywhere and I'm not gonna break them so we'll either just leave them and I'll continue to use them as a whiteboard or we will uh, paint over them at some point I did buy that little rack um, for that back corner basically just for my radio system uh, this is probably one of the best things that I've bought for the shop 
Uh, it's Bluetooth, it connects to all the speakers, I can run basically anything that I want, anything that I can play on my phone, I can play on that, I can play in the store. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, That racks just for that, maybe a couple other items. And then uh, we did organize uh, the day before we painted, or the morning before, I did organize this back room. I uh, got a rack, that's actually the first rack I bought. I ended up buying the same one for that corner. Uh, just to get that table, I don't know if you guys remember or not, um, there was a wooden table that was left here by the previous tenant. Um, I believe they were like, they did like craft projects or something. It was, it was very loosely built and um, it had a lot of wood, uh, but I was going to salvage the uh, plywood for that, but I ended up just buying a new sheet and sanding it down and making it a little bit more uniform. Uh, but everything that was on that table is now on that rack and uh, easily found with the uh, organization that we got going on. We also got our horse, horse, our horse, saw horse, saw horse, sitting there. Um, those are gonna definitely come in handy for shows, which I just got a message yesterday for one of the very first shows that I'm gonna be doing for 2022. And I'm probably gonna get that figured out here this week and get signed up for that because Corals Unlimited is gonna be going places, seeing some things. Um, and we got that to sign up and pay our dues for that. It's probably one of the most inexpensive shows around. It's in the Northeast. It's the biggest show in the Northeast. Uh, we've done it once already. We're definitely going to do it again. Uh, back here, we got some uh, styrofoam from our fish order that we had. Holding on to that for whatever, I don't know why. Uh, TV that eventually that we're going to be hanging up. And my little kettle for all my hot meals that I got here at the shop. We got the, uh, the cup of noodle. We got some, what else have we got? Get some Easy Mac, even though that the Easy Mac, it's probably supposed to be microwaved. It tastes a little weird. That's what I've been living off, folks. Not really, but um, when I'm hungry and I don't feel like running to the store, that's what I eat. Uh, that is fish store survival at its finest. Uh, we went through and hung up all our fire extinguishers. I got one more. This is my um, kiss tail extinguisher. This is the extra that I'm going to be putting up for today. And uh, we're going to put that right there. Um, so let's go check out what we got going on the sales floor today. So uh, we are filling up our last little bit of RO water uh, before we got to take that down because I'm sure that the code enforcer is not going to be okay with that. Just dangle in there. Um, but we've been kind of going through, picking up. Um, I've had some help come in and go through all the products and price them out and get them on the website. We're still listing stuff. Um, you guys are still ordering and I appreciate that. Uh, but this is what the cash wrap looks like at the moment. Um, this basket here, I was going to, look at that, some raffle tickets. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to be raffling. Um, this basket I picked up at Goodwill and I'm probably going to put some Swedish fish in there for the kids um, so they can grab some Swedish fish but um, this guy's working out pretty good for us and we've got the table all nice and cleaned up point of sale system ready to go um, I'm glad that I went with the black the black is mighty sharp with that wood top for sure um, definitely a good choice. I was originally, I had it gray. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, um, or watched that video, but uh, looks a lot better with the black. Polly helped me make the decision on that. Uh, we still got some products. These are our Expenso, Expenso products, excuse me, um, that we need to get listed. Still not listed on the website, um, but we got some XR30s there, some XR15s. Uh, I think we also got Maxbeck FX330. We got some A360Xs. We got some nice stuff sitting there, just sitting there. 
chilling out, waiting. Uh, this tank we got right now is probably not going to be ready for the open unless I fail my inspection. Um, we are at the process right now of cycling this guy and you know we've talked about that in other videos you don't necessarily need to cycle a coral tank but it helps with the stability so uh, we got that going on we got our dry rock ready to go I've been scrubbing it keeping it clean for you guys you know to keep it clean pulled the Aquamax skimmer out of there uh, I'm gonna be putting a uh, Red Sea reefer 300 which is also the skimmer that we have for sale down there um, we're gonna be putting that in there instead the Aquamax is tired man it's not doing the work that it should be doing uh, so that's something that we're gonna have to work through here in the next couple of days uh, these systems are looking mighty fine right now um, I mixed salt water for this guy and it's a little on the light side so I don't have the cycling going here yet uh, I'm it's been like two days since I've tested this guy and I probably should test it because if I do have a cycled system I need to be putting in an order last night we put on the end caps for the counter uh, this is awful um, I've been putting it off because I was worried about it but putting on that it's actually easy to put on because all you do is it's like you got this laminate I got an extra piece because I didn't realize that um, I thought I'd bought something that was damaged Let's see I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not kind of a little bit right there it's kind of chipped I was like oh this is crap I can't believe they sold that to me and couldn't find my receipt I keep all my receipts uh, so I went and bought new ones but the amount of filing that you do to get that to be flush with the top is unreal. Um, kind of painful. Kind of painful. That that is probably the hardest part of this whole deal, um, as far as the cabinets go, is putting that on. And uh, we did this side as well. I made almost the same mistakes. I kind of chewed up my corner there a little bit, but. I put the end caps on over here last night, and then I just left it. Like, look at that overlap. It sticks really good to it, but I gotta file that down. I did both sides. Look at that's so much filing that I'm gonna have to do. So much filing, um, and I kind of needed to do it that way because. Lo and behold, the top of this one's all chewed up as well. But we got to get that wrapped up tonight. We um, already talked about these tanks. Not sure if this guy's cycled or not. We haven't even begun the cycling process on that dude. Um, frag system doing good. Got some corals in there. So last night. This is obviously not how I left it. If you guys watched the video, we killed a MP40 there. So I came in this morning. Uh oh, got a guy upside down. Um, and I've been messing with the schedule of the MP40. And for whatever reason, you know, where this is so thin, it's, it's a lot thinner than glass. But I took off the gasket because I only got so much space in there for that um, or the spacer not the gasket um, and this guy just keeps popping off like all the time so if it swaps between like I don't know 30 45 percent which is typically what I'm running during daylight hours which you can see over there it's a pretty good flow but it like from a coral shopping standpoint it's too much flow and I don't have any viewers uh, I'm not gonna be able to get any in here in time uh, for the open as long as we pass our inspection but um, this guy just keeps kicking off and he must have went nuclear last night because all these corals were all piled up luckily uh, none of the corals that got smashed around were like corals that potentially could kill each other or sting each other uh, because of the way um, they were all soft corals it wasn't a you know a big deal 
Um, but a bunch of the soft corals, mostly these guys right here, were all like piled up. Most of these guys just kind of pushed up and the disc kind of held them down a little bit. But um, Lobo's a little, little upset today. Sun corals are doing all right. The, uh, I didn't even realize the alveopora, can't even see it. It's like purple purple tentacles with a, like a light blue mouth. I thought that that was a skeleton. It's not, it's like a, it's absolutely stunning. But they're already showing signs of life, pretty happy. Um, most of the sticks that we got are looking good. The Pavone is looking super hairy right now, but uh, these guys are doing all right. Uh, we got a sale, or actually I got to put in the rest of my order with, um, vendor number one so that we can get that in here I'm gonna do an extra I'm gonna double double that and then we're gonna do a double order with them as well um, yesterday when we did our receiving coral video which if you guys want to check that out uh, that was yesterday's video um, we talked about the mushroom that was dislocated now I don't, I'm not gonna move this guy because I want him to stay put and get, you know, attached to something. But what I did is I took one of the specimen cups, cleaned it out, I drilled a bunch of holes in it, and then put some substrate in the bottom, then put the mushroom in the bottom. And I'm going to let him sit there for, you know, maybe two weeks, and then take him out. He's probably going to attach to a piece of rock, take out that rock, and then glue that to a plug. Uh, that's how we're going to fix that. We also kept... The plug, which is right there, uh, that's why it's way over here by itself. Uh, just in case of that foot, you know, there's a little piece of it, that mushroom will regrow. Uh, so that's why we're hanging on to that plug. But uh, a lot of things going on today. We got a lot of stuff priced out, ready to go. Um, still got some stuff squirreled away over here that we need to get through. Uh, but yeah, we're making progress and tomorrow we have our inspection at 1 o'clock So we're either gonna be Incredibly excited and nervous because we're opening the next day or we're gonna be scrambling to figure out How to fix what we need to fix Either way, I've told myself today either way. I'm gonna be okay with it We'll figure out what we need to do and we'll keep moving forward that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me for One Take Sunday. I've messed up a couple times, a couple times today. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help support what we're doing here at Corals Unlimited, there is a link to the shop, the online store, down below. And we're adding new stuff every single day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, not a subscriber, part of the 54% that watch these videos every day and are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, baby doesn't cost nothing. It's absolutely free. <sighs> See you tomorrow. So much work to do. Peace.